what are corals? Corals are small invertebrate animals that belong to the same broad category as jellyfish. Each individual coral, called a polyp, often hosts small photosynthetic organisms called algae within it. The polyp and the algae exist in a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship. Some types of corals, called hard corals, build rigid exoskeleton around them. Hard corals extract calcium from surrounding seawater and use this calcium to create a hardened structure for protection and growth. Coral reefs are therefore created by millions of tiny polyps forming large carbonate structures and are the basis of a framework and home for hundreds of thousands of other species. Coral reefs are the largest living structure on the planet and the only living structure to be visible from space. What are the impacts of climate change on coral reefs? Coral bleaching can occur when water temperatures are unusually high, during marine heat waves, for example. Corals bleach when the polyps expel the symbiotic algae that live inside their tissues. Bleaching may lead to the destruction of coral reefs, which are home to approximately 25% of marine species. Bleached corals continue to live for a while, but if water temperatures do not fall and allow their symbiotic algae to return, corals then will die of starvation. Like many reef-forming organisms, corals are made of calcium carbonate and are very sensitive to changes in the pH of seawater. The pH of seawater is decreasing due to the absorption of man-made CO2 from the atmosphere leading to what we call ocean acidification. This affects the corals in particular, which struggle to form their hard skeletons and alters the overall reef structures. Certain phytoplankton species are also affected by ocean acidification. Other aspects of climate change can also affect coral reef ecosystems, including rising sea levels, increasing occurrence of extreme weather events associated with tropical cyclones, increasing extreme wave heights and altered ocean circulation. When combined, all of these impacts dramatically alter the ecosystem function of coral reefs, as well as all the services they provide to people worldwide. What may be the consequences of ocean acidification and biodiversity? To understand the consequences, think about what you would do to descale a coffee maker. You use white vinegar. Vinegar is acidic and dissolves limestone. So if the surface water of the ocean acidifies, it impacts the development of small calcareous animals, such as corals, oysters, mussels, and many more. All these living organisms have shells containing calcium carbonate and live at the surface water of the ocean, which are getting acidified by the dissolution of carbon dioxide. And this is extremely critical in some parts of the ocean, like in the Pacific Ocean. What is their future, as per the different IPCC scenarios? At two degrees of warming, almost all the corals in the planet would disappear as a consequence of warming and acidification. Which are the solutions that we can implement today? The best solution to counteract ocean acidification is the same than to fight against climate change. It is mitigation, limiting carbon dioxide emissions as much as possible and as soon as possible.